Hey everybody, welcome to Little Josh Yarns. I'm Alicia. If this is your very first time here, what we usually do, we talk about some crochet patterns and some fabulous designers while we sip on a cup of wine. Well, right now it is two o'clock in Pennsylvania. I am near the Pittsburgh area and it is a nice, beautiful, chilly day. It's around 53 degrees. So where are you at right now? I wanna check in the comments and see how everybody's doing. And welcome everybody. Let's see. I see my girl Maria here. I always have some of my favorites. She says, good afternoon and happy Saturday to everyone. It's finally nice enough here in Northern um, MN, Minnesota. I'm doing my uh, abbreviations with my son uh, to have a windows open. Yay, can't wait to learn more fun and crochet. Nice seeing you too. Another one of my favorites. Hello, Miss Gloria. And uh, here we go. Just go down the list. Wait, here we go. Fave, um, unapologetic mocha. And another fave, Miss XD Symphony. How's everybody doing? Hey, long time no see, Epic Space Dorito. So everybody, welcome. So what we're gonna be doing here today, we're gonna be looking at uh, 10 crochet sweaters and cardigans. Cause you right, know right now the weather is in that transition state. So whoop, let me pull down your comment. It's in that transition state right now. So therefore in the mornings, it might be extra chilly. And in the evenings, it's gonna be hot. And you're like, ah, oh, what to wear? With these cardigans and sweaters, you can know you can go out in your mom a uh, white t-shirt and class it up with a crochet sweater or cardigan. Make it nice and easy. But oh, and if this is your very first time here, I am very talkative during my live streams. This is not like my pre-recorded video. If you just want to see the patterns, I get all the patterns linked down in the description box below. It says today's video patterns. I forget how I have it marked, but you can go to the roundup and go to all those patterns. But I want to tell you some of my own good news. I just found out my daughter, she's going away uh, to college this fall. She received a $22,000 a year scholarship to go to school. I am like beyond excited. Today was just a regular normal day. But when she told me, she's like, oh, by the way, I got a scholarship to Westminster. I'm like, what? This is like the most exciting thing in the whole entire world. So I'm so excited. So of course I told everybody she got an academic scholarship. Yes, she does play piano. She's going to be going there for music. She still has to audition for the music program. She's been playing piano for the past 13, 14. She doesn't remember not playing piano. She's been playing it her whole life, but I am just so proud of her. So I just want to mention that. So sorry, guys, I am chit chatting so much. So um, last week was so great with the giveaway of yarn. And to also celebrate my daughter's scholarship, we're going to be giving away yarn for uh, this live stream also. Anybody who donates will get to spin the wheel of patterns. Let me show you what that looks like right now. The whoop, Let me scroll down. The wheel of patterns. And on this wheel, you have a chance to win yarn. So let me show you the yarn that you're going to be getting today. First up is, I believe this is like, I don't know how many cakes this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cakes of yarn. I'm trying to clean out all of my yarn stash. So let me show you what the yarn looks like up close. I believe it's acrylic yarn. Can you see? It's like a boucle texture, but this is a worsted weight, not like a number five, like um, boucle typically is. Let me keep the yarn close. So if anybody donates to Super Chat, you'll get to spin the wheel and have a chance to win that. And the second yarn, ugh, we got baskets. You have one, two, five skeins of, this is Lion's Pride wool spun. I know this is 100% acrylic. Where is it? It's about uh, 108 yards. Let me get this yarn up close so you can see. Come on, camera focus in. There it is. Now you can see the yarn. And once that yarn goes, I have, I think this is five skeins. I believe I bought this yarn from Joanne Fabric. You ever get those? Uh, it comes in a big bag. I think they're mill ends bag. Oh, we have a donation. Oh, and by the way, there won't be no cool bubbles. My bubble machine finally died. Goodbye bubbles. But let's see who donated via super chat. 
epic space dorito so let me show you what this last yard looks like it feels like a cotton yarn i wish my camera could pick up the colors a little bit better but this is the variegated yarn so let's spin the wheel of patterns everybody cross your fingers for yarn here we go and the wheel you win my granny top pattern let me show you what that one looks like all my patterns in my shop right now are you know it's always 25 percent off so let me scroll down to the uh, granny top pattern right here so make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com my email is down in the description box below okay so those are the yarns that's going to be given away today. And also today's uh, live stream is being sponsored by Chirp Audiobooks. You'll notice that little ticker going down below the screen. Anybody who orders their first order from there will receive $5 off their first order. They have a lot of the books are off like 95%. So you'll be able to get some um, books probably for free. So make sure you check them down below. And there are... Uh, audiobook service that has absolutely no subscription so you don't have to worry about all that every single month <gasps> we have uh -oh, another donation and everybody who donated last week and received yarn i just it's the back of i just mailed your yarn out yesterday so it'll be coming so love crochet by sarah you're becoming one of my favorites hope you have a great weekend working on a cardigan for my trip to atlanta Mm, cheers to you. So, Sarah, ready to spin. Let me pull up the screen share. And everybody, yarn. Come on, yarn. First person to get yarn. You, you get my crochet sunflower hat. Let me show you. What, nope, my sun hat. Here we go. Where is it? Right here. Make sure you email me. My email address is down in the description box below. Okay, I already forget where I was. So I guess we might as well just hop directly into the patterns that we're looking at today. Remember, we're having a whole bunch of amazing crochet designers. So make sure you check out all of their blogs. All of these patterns are free. The links are down below. So, oh, I usually like to ask a question for all of you before we start. Uh, we got another donation. Man, we are on a roll today. Let's see. S.A. Johnson, yay for yarn, yay. There's a crochet YouTuber. Her name is Yay for Yarn. I love yarn, but okay. We're going to spin to see if we're going to get some yarn. I have the heat on in my house, and I'm burning up right now. I'm getting all excited for yarn. I should have turned that down before we started. Okay, let me scroll up so we can see it a little better. Everybody, yarn, yarn. This Big basket of yarn, that's the first one. Oh, but you got the crochet flip-flops with the sole pattern. Let me show you what that one looks like. Oh, it's right up front. Make sure you email me at littlejohnyarnsgmail.com. All that is down below. So what I wanna know about you, tell me your crochet story. How did you begin crocheting? I want to know your crochet story so we can bring it up to the front. Make sure you put like question marks in front of it so I can see it and bring your question up so we can all discuss it. All right, let me, I have to bring up my reading. Here we go. Let's hop into the very first patterns. All right, this is the rectangle cardigan. You can make the oversized cardigan of your dreams with this super easy crochet cardigan pattern. Don't believe me? The design only uses single and double crochet stitches. There is no increasing or discretion for shaping. And there is an instructional video in addition to the written pattern. So trust me, you totally got this pattern. The designer of this is Make and Do Crew. Let me scroll down. This is a cute pattern. I love the uh, two textures on it. I know we got a super chat. Don't worry, I did not forget about you. I always like to have as you go pictures, you know, you guys know I love those and she has one. So be patient, there we go, be patient with me. Look how simple this pattern is. It's a rectangle, folded, that's it. All right, let's see who gave us a super chat. Hold on, let me see, wait, here we go. Who did I miss? Did, Epi did you uh, donate again that I missed? Did you donate again? Well, thank you so much. Let me pull this up. Hold on. I don't want to lose you. I'm lose. I lost the comment. There we go. So we're going to spin again. 
Here we go. We're going to get some yarn. We're going to get some yarn. We're going to get yarn. We, oh, I'm, I'm too loud. You got it. Oh, and now I know like, oh, Lord, if this, did you donate twice or did, did I have you spend twice? No, no, you did donate twice, so this is you. This is going to be a heck of a ship across sea. <laughs> All right, so you win this one. This one is going to be pushed off to the side. So we still have two more yarns containers left. So we have this one right here. I believe well, that's the second one. This That's going to be the next one up, this yarn. So who do we have next? Debbie Davis. Okay, are you ready? Let's bring up the wheel of patterns. We're going to go for yarn again. Are we ready, guys? Yarn, yarn, yarn. You get my cotton crochet flip flops. Let me show you what that pattern looks like. Right here. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Oh, let me write to see one time. Google epic. All right. And we have, did we have another one? I think that was it. I don't know. We had more. We have more. Okay. We have, uh, am I going back too far? Are you a double also? I think you're a double. Oh, I know I'm just missing stuff. I'm missing so many. Okay. Did we do Debbie Davis guys? Let me know. Yes. We did that one. So now Tanya, I know I know I didn't say your name. So Tanya, you oh thank you for the donation so much. Who cheers? I know I'm not gonna be able to take a sip every time I get a donation now, but we're gonna spin the wheel for you. Are we gonna get some more yarn? Let's see, yarn, yarn, yarn. You get my flower motif hat. Let me show you what that one looks like. Flower, there it is. So to get that pattern, I cannot find you guys. So make sure you email me, littlejohnyarnsgmail.com. Links down below. Okay, I don't wanna lose anybody. I know there is another one. Another favorite, Aisha Flores. Thank you so much for donating. Your name is almost spelled exactly like mine, but I just put an A-L-Y-S-H-A. So let's spin the wheel for you. Are we going to get yarn? Come on, Will. Come on, Will. You get my cotton flip-flops. They are right here. Make sure you email me. My email address is down below. Am I catching everybody? Here we go. This is another one. Thank you so much for donating. So we're going to spin the wheel again. Here we go. Come on, yarn. Yarn, 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 yarn. Sunflower hat. Where is that one? Sunflower hat. Sunflower Right, that, that's a, hold on. I gotta see what I labeled these as, sunflower. Nope, you're the actual sunflower hat. Where is that? Right here. <laughs> Make sure you email me for your pattern. All right, Felicia, my mom taught me how to crochet when I was six or seven. I'm 35 now and I'm still at it. I can't convince her to do anything other than blankets. Introduce her to YouTube at, or any blanket. That sweater that we just did, you take one of her blankets and turn that thing into a cardigan. That's what you should do. But cheers for you. Thank you for donating. And now we are going to spin for you. Let's see if we're going to get some yarn. The granny top pattern. I'll show you what that one looks like. I know it's down below right here. Make sure you email me for your pattern. And I think, am I caught up? Am I caught up? I think I'm caught up. Everybody, no, I'm not. There's so much. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I can't find where I was. I do not want to miss anybody. I did Felicia. Here we go. 
Nicole, thank you so much for donating. And if you guys are wondering how these people are donating, if you see the little dollar sign in the comment box right there, if you click that, you can donate and I'll see the lights will go off and we'll spin the wheel of patterns. I think this has come before like now, just all spinning for patterns and yarns. You get my mesh flower hat. It is right here. So make sure you email me. And who else was on there? We have Heather. Thank you so much for donating. Let's get your spin. Come on, yarn, yarn, yarn. You get my flip flops with the soul. That one is up top right here. And let's see who else is here. And Debbie. Thank you so much for donating, Debbie. I appreciate it so much. Let's give you another spin. Come on, y'all. Oh, the flower motif hat. You was that close? Flower motif hat. It's just a little scroll down. All right. Here we go. So now I am going to see what you guys put. What? How did you become crocheters? Let's see. No, I miss, I'm missing I'm missing so many more super chat. It keeps popping up. Oh guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Noodles. Noodles is next. And if I missed you, spam me right now, guys. Let me know. I don't want you to miss your turn. Thank you so much and cheers to you. Noodles. We're going to just do two a couple in a row. And M Gaines. Oh, thank you so much for your donation. I appreciate it so much. I'm going to be done with this cup before I know it. So we're going to spin for the both of you right now. There we go. Take that down. Let's see. And the first spin. Come on, yarn. Yarn. Noodles. Noodles. Let me write you down. You get the noodles. You receive this. The wool spun all five skeins. Please make sure you email me. I cannot find you. So my email address is down below. So we'll get that off to the side. I might have to pull out some more yarn. All right. So we still have these. We have five skeins of these left. M gains. Are you ready? Let's spin. Let's spin. What are we going to get? The cotton flip flops. Here we go. And that is the orange flip flop patterns right there. So make sure you email me down below. I hope we're going to be able to get into these patterns. Did I get everybody? No, we got more. Okay, got another unapologetically mocha. Congrats to your daughter. I am so proud of her. I can't, you guys don't even know how to explain this. One, she picked at a very expensive college to go to, but now that she's getting a scholarship, makes it so much better. So proud. All right. Come on, yarn, 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 yarn. It's like, ooh, spin. <gasps> oh, so close to yarn. You're like a pinch away. What did you get? You got the flower motif hat. Where was that one? Right there. Am I up to date now? I think. Did I get everybody? Let me make sure. I... Patrice, no, I did not get everybody. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for donating. Oh, cheers. Okay, we're getting some yarn. If this yarn goes, I got a poop ton of yarn behind me, and we'll give that out, too. Maybe our live stream should just now be spinning and giving out yarn. Let's see. All right, let's see. We'll pull up the spin. Are we going to get yarn? Come on, yarn. You get my son flower hat. Where is, I believe that one is up top. Nope. My sunflower hat is right here. So make sure you email me. My email address is down below. Oh, we still got some more. Okay. We did Patrice. I'm sorry. You probably don't want to look at that screen back there. I'm trying to look for everybody. It's so hard to find. Okay, I hope I pronounced your name right. Ma Nabala. Uh, me, please. I love your patterns. All right. So thank you so much for donating. And cheers. Mm. Let me turn off my light so I know when it goes off. I wish I had my bubble machine. 
All right, you ready? Everybody cross your fingers for yarn. Yarn, yarn, yarn. You get my mesh flower hat. I actually love this hat right here. So make sure you email me down below. My email address is there. Am I caught up now? Let's see. I think so. Okay. Let's see who taught you, Patrice. My aunt taught me when I was six years old. Debbie, you need my email. Uh, my email address is down in the description box. I'm going to type it in the chat right now. Little John's yarn at gmail.com. Chat. There you go. It's right in there. And we got Sarah. Okay. <laughs> You're in it to win it. Here we go. Let's give you a spin. I can't drink anymore for you, Sarah. I'm going to be so gone. Okay, here we go. You get the cotton flip flops. And if you happen to get some, a repeat pattern, just let me know in the email. So here we go. I heard my light go off. Somebody else donated. Okay. Whew. Joanne, love watching you and congrats to your daughter. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of her. That is my baby. Here we go for this spin. Come on, yarn. Come on, yarn. Come on. The sunflower hat. That hat is, I think, a couple notches down. There it is. My email address, I just put it in the chat. And also, it's down in the description box below. Remember, guys, I can't find you. If you guys are just showing up to this live stream, right now we're going over some crochet patterns. And if I'm talking too much and you're getting bored and you don't want to be here anymore, don't worry. I got all the patterns in one easy spot down in the description box below. All right, so we are going to hop back into a couple more patterns. Let's see where we were. Uh, did we do this one? No, we didn't. The Briar, uh, Briar Pocket Cardigan. This, uh, you can never have enough pockets. This cozy crochet cardigan is made with half double and double crochet stitches. The red pin is made with front and back post double crochets. Don't worry if you aren't familiar with these stitches. You can follow along to the video tutorial and the written pattern, pattern and learn how to do it. The designer of this beautiful cardigan is for the frills. I want to make sure that I put up, yeah, I put up the screen share. Sometimes I worry if I don't. This is a cute pattern. Okay, so the next pattern that we are going to look at is from one of my favorite designers. This uh, sweater weather cardigan. Take your crochet skills to a new lens with this full coverage cardigan. I know it looks really stunning and difficult, but you'll only be using basic crochet stitches. Single, half double, and double crochet. All, all in one sweater piece. This is an all in one sweater piece and it's way easier to create than you think. Ooh. Oh, the designer of this is TL Yarncraft. I didn't mean to forget her name. She is one of my favorite crochet designers. Does she have any as you go pictures? Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at the stitch. Oh, I love that. And all of her pictures are just absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let's hop into the comments. And I'm still, oh, I see my light on. Did somebody donate and I miss it? I'm still going to go back and read some of your comments of how did you begin crocheting? And if you want to comment, tell me how you began crocheting. Make sure you put little question marks ahead of it. Let me scroll up and make sure I didn't miss anybody. I didn't. All right. This is from a little bit earlier. Michelle said, I started the winter before COVID. I was just bored with cross stitch. Hmm. I started with crochet when I was, oh, I dropped my phone. I started with crochet when I was seven years old. I was spending the summer over my grandmother's house and she just put the hook in my hand. Uh, loving crochet by Sarah. It looks like she has the same story I do. I, I does, I do. I, same story as I. <laughs> my mother taught me when I was seven, but I couldn't grasp it, it, grasp it just yet and started again at 12. And I haven't stopped since. Been running my business for almost 10 years. Congratulations to your crafty crochet business of 10 years. Good job. I was, oh, you guys are going to love this. This Wednesday, I'm coming out with a brand new video. The video is titled, I taught my husband to crochet. 
this was the hardest thing I've ever done in my whole entire life. This video, I was so determined to teach him how to make a granny square. Just so you guys know, he didn't end up making anything. Let's see, what did I miss? Here we go from HQ. It was last year when we were stuck at home and I learned crocheting watching YouTube videos. And I'm so thankful that I found your YouTube channel and I really love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> I love your name, Jamburger. My friend bought, uh, brought her crochet stuff to school and I thought it was so cool. I, I'm self-taught myself and now I crochet daily. I've been crocheting for almost four years now. Congratulations. For me, it's, crochet has become so addictive. I just can't stop. It like has encompassed my life. I guess we're like a weird sect of people. So yes, people have hobbies in crochet, but myself i know i'm that type of person i'm like a hardcore crocheter as you can tell i'm having a live stream about crochet right now all right here we go and i'll do one more before we hop into the next one unapologetically mocha says i learned when i was 10 but didn't get really into it until i was to about three or four years ago no, like I said, I learned when I was seven, but I really got into it when about six, six, seven years ago, I just started crocheting daily and it just suddenly took over my life. All right. So I'm about to hop into the next few patterns. And guys, like I said, if I'm talking too much, you can all find the links for the patterns down below. The next question I'm going to ask so what are you guys working on right now? This is your opportunity to completely brag about yourself, something that you just made, or you can ask me a question, whatever you want. But before you type in the comment section, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I can pull it up to the front and everybody can see it. All right, so let's get into the very next pattern. Be patient with me, guys. I have to pull up my notes. This, call, this is called the Lemon Squeezy Pullover. This adorable crochet pullover was named after the lemon peel stitch used in its construction. The lemon peel stitch is just a fancy name for alternating single and double crochet stitches. You'll love the fun texture and the easy detail free crochet pattern. There's even a short sleeve version, version of this top. The designer of this is Heart Hook Home. I always love her pictures. I just think she has like the cutest little face. And look, this is the lemon peel. It's nothing difficult. It's just alternating stitches of a single and double crochet. That's all it is. What a cute top. All right, the next pattern we're gonna look at is from another one of my favorite designers. This is called the Everyday Cotton Cardigan. This free crochet pattern cardigan pattern features trendy balloon sleeves and chic rib edging. You can make one for yourself and wear it all year long, which is half double and double crochet stitches, along with front and back post double crochet stitches for the ribbing. Hooray for this cute and easy sweater pattern. The designer is this is so, so Ella. I love Soella. She was like my inspiration to go into my own personal crochet business. These balloon sleeves are gorgeous. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So now I'm going to come back into the comment section. So guys, tell me your crochet story. Tell me, brag about yourself. What are you making right now? Tell me. So what I'm making right now, I am making absolutely nothing. In my head, I have another crochet slipper pattern because you guys seem to like my slippers. So let's see. Ooh, my fave Najat says, I have made a zillion very nice blankets and afghans, but sure would love to make a wearable. Any suggestions for my first attempt sizing is what worries me the most. For myself, I am also like afraid of sizing. If you notice any of my crochet patterns, none of them are form-fitting patterns. I like a nice loose sweater. Sweaters, I make a square, a square, put them together, and that is the body of your top. And then I do rectangle, rectangle, those are my arms. But luckily, it is almost springtime, so you don't even have to worry about arms. What you have to do is make an oversized square. 
and it hangs off of you, your body drapes it naturally. So, and I see we have another super chat. Who did I miss where we had super chat? Uh, fave PJ, thank you. I'm making hand towels, washcloths, trivets for my daughter's bridal shower. It's what she wants. I crochet every day. I think you're probably in a group of us weird crocheters that are just obsessed and just can't stop doing it. My life, I will YouTube people crocheting. I don't know, it's just me. So let me just pull up the yarn. Let's see, we're going for yarn. Spin, spin, spin. What are we going to get? <gasps> we got the yarn. PJC, I'm happy for one of my faves. Oh, my husband's leaving. You're leaving? Yeah. You taking little Mr. Isaac or is he staying? Okay. Love you guys. You be safe. So you get the basket of yarn. Let me write this down. Make sure you email me. Uh, my email address is down in the description. You know the routine. You get the variegated PJ. All right, I feel bad. Let's see. Let's. We need some more yarn. Mm -hmm. I might have to like uh, wound this. This wasn't used. I thought about using it. I didn't. You guys won't mind if I do that. But I don't want to give you give away give away just one skein of yarn. You know. So I want matching so you can make something out of it. I'm gonna add this to the bulk. Oh oh. Let me put this off to the side. But congratulations to you, PJ. So let me show you what this yarn looks like up close. This is Heartland yarn. This is a pinkish color. This is 100% acrylic. You will get 251 yards. And you will get three skeins of this Lion Brand yarn. So that'll be an option to win on the Wheel of Yarn. Okay. We're not even through this. I don't want, did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. Did I get everybody's? I'm hoping I got everybody's, okay. So, Marlene, I learned to crochet around 10. I happened to stumble on your channel. Brings back so many memories. I do love crocheting. Oh, we got another super chat. Okay, Epic Space Dorito, my over free uh, overseas friend. Okay, you're gonna be expensive one to ship. Let's give you a spin, here we go. This will be all in one's batch if you win, so that'll be much easier, here we go. Come on, yarn. Yeah, spin. You spinning, 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 spinning. You get my cotton flip-flops. I'm sure you already seen that already, but I'll bring it up right there. <laughs> Congratulations and thank you so much for donating. I appreciate it so much. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to fill up soon. Hmm. Let's see what else is going on in the chat. We have Cameron. I started crocheting at the, did I pause? No, I didn't. At the beginning of COVID lockdown because I needed something to do. So I didn't get the press. I learned watching YouTube. Right now I'm working on crochet hoodie. I always tell people crochet relaxes me. You ever hear people, they have like mantras that repeat over and over and over. I feel like when I'm repeating stitches in my head or increases, it's like a mantra. It calms me completely. Marlene, thank you. Love your channel. So relaxing and so many. Wait, did I just do that one? I feel like I just, wait, wait. I feel like I just pulled that one. Did we do you? Did I say that? I wish I could rewind my own video. But just in case I didn't do it, I've been drinking. I'm sorry. I'm going to spin again, just in case. But I'm going to watch this afterwards. <laughs> I, there's so many spins. Okay, this is my flapper hat. Let me turn off this light. Where is my flapper hat? Right here. Okay, I'm all over the place. You agree, you keep it calming. 
David says, if you donate, do you win something? Sorry, I've never been on live before. Oh, this is something I usually like to do when people donate. I like to give something away just because you do. It's a thank you that I like to offer. But to make it more interesting, I pull up the, I'll show you right now, the Wheel of Patterns. You have a chance to win one of my free crochet patterns from my uh, Etsy shop right here. And on the wheel, you do have an option to win yarn. Most of my yarn is gone, but right now we have four, three, no, three skeins of Red Heart yarn. Worst, wait, up for spin right now. Okay. So now we are going to hop back into some more of the patterns. Where are we? We did so, Ella. And come on, here we go. This is called Rosewood Cardigan. Cotton bamboo yarn is sure to be your favorite for crochet garments because it's super soft and beautifully draped. You can make this relaxed fish cardigan with pockets using just one crochet stitch, single crochet in the front loops only. The entire piece is worked flat and there's no shaping except for the increasing on the sleeves. The designer of this beautiful cardigan is all about Amy. And I seen we had a super chat. Is this real okay? Bye, Felicia. Maybe it's time to switch to juice and water. True, it might be. But it's way over there. Let's give you a spin. <laughs> Wait, there we go. Screen share. Come on, yarn. Everybody wants the yarn. You get the flower motif hat. This is the hat right there. So please make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. And we had one more. Amaris. I said, am I pronounced that right? Amaris. Amaris. Thank you so much for donating. So we're going to give you a spin also. Let me turn off this light. And if I miss anybody's, please spam me in the chat. Let me know. Let's give you a spin. Come on, are we going for yarn? You get my flint vintage flapper hat. I think I may need to um, switch the juice. I'm gonna put this cup down for a second. Where is it? This hat. So no more cheers for everybody. You, you do get a cheers, but you might not get a sip with it. <laughs> okay, let's hop on to the very next pattern. This one is called Weekend Snuggle Sweater. Say hello to your favorite free and easy crochet pullover. I love that this design only uses single crochet and chain stitches, along with single crochet together stitches for simple decreasing. The sweater is made in four flat panels of crochet that are then sewn together. Easy and adorable. You know, that's right up my alley. The designer of this is for the frills. I got two of their patterns on this one. Remember how I was talking about what is a good pattern? Look, this front piece, that is a square. The back piece is a second piece, which is a square. And then you make the sleeves. You don't have to worry too much about sizing. Just make sure you get the, uh, uh, the widest part around your bus. Here we go. And we'll do another pattern and then we'll hop into the comments. And guys, if you have any questions for me right now, make sure you put it in the comments um, section, but put question marks in front of it so I know to bring your comment to the front. This next pattern that we're gonna be looking at is called the Harvest Cardigan. You can snuggle, uh, you can upgrade the basic crochet cardigan with some simple additions like functional buttons and seamless pockets for a whole new look. This design uses single and half double crochet stitches, crocheting some stitches in the back loops only, and simple decreasing in the form of single crochets together is all that's involved in this pattern. The designer of this is yarn and chai. This is gorgeous. Let me see if they got up close. Oh, what a cute model. Okay. I love that design. And I seen that we got a super chat. Karen, wow, thank you so much. I'm going to raise the glass. 
but I'm not going to put it to my lips because I still have a couple more things that I have to read. She says, happy first day of spring. It is a beautiful day out here. So we're going to spin the wheel of patterns and see what we get. You know what? I know the crochet gods are in your favor right now. Come on, guys. Come on. No, so close. Flower motif hat. Here we go. So make sure for this pattern, you have to email me. My email address is down in the description box below. And guys, if you're just getting here, I'll say this throughout the live stream. If I'm talking too much, all these patterns are down in the description box below. You don't have to listen to me. This is just a time for me to get to talk to you more and have fun and chit chat back and forth. Let's see. Oh, thank you. I was so confused about the comment. You just said you just commented again. I'm like, am I my mind playing tricks on me? Deja vu. I wasn't sure. Let's see. Let's go into the comments. Tanya says, I'm currently working on a Lakers granny square large blanket for my neighbor's husband. He approached me one day to make a hat and a scarf and was so impressed, asked me to make a blanket. Noah, cheers to you. I'm all for the crochet entrepreneur. When people see your work, they're like, oh, that's beautiful. Could I have one? And then they'll continue to shop for more. When I was doing custom orders, most of my sales came from like the five people that always came back over and over because they love my work. But cheers to you. Congratulations. You, you forgot? It is. It's the first day of spring. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wanda. Congrats to your daughter. You go, mom. Good job. You know, I'm not like a big uh, on my own personal like social media, like my personal one. I'm not like a big bragger or post pictures daily. But today felt like the day I need to like post on Instagram or something and, like brag about my kid because she got a scholarship. If you're just getting here. She got a twenty two thousand dollar a year scholarship. Amazing. Oh, and actually, this is actually a great time for me to segue into the person who's sponsoring this video. If you notice down below, you'll see a little ticker going across the bottom of the stream. This live stream is brought to you by Chirp Audiobooks. What Chirp Audiobooks is, is a subscription-free audiobook service where you don't have to worry about paying any type of monthly fees. And if you do order from them, when you use coupon code LITTLEJOHN5, you'll receive $5 off your very first order. I just uh, finished up a book about a week ago. It was Bridgerton, the second one. It was called The Bank Count Who Loved Me. Loved it. It's the Bridgerton, it's like a sequel. That's going to be the second book in the whole Netflix series. So if you don't want to wait till next year, listen to the audiobook. And remember, all that information about Chirp Audiobooks is down in the description box. All right, let's see what's going on. Nadine says, I'm working on a pink Louise, but ah, belt. I can't say a Belcher bunny. I'm sorry, I'm not classy. I don't know the pretty stuff. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to go up the next one. My thing is moving real slow. I'm trying to bring up H Cutie, but it disappeared. I seen you were on there somewhere, H Cutie, but it vanished. So sorry. Oh, there it is. Should I go study for my final exam or watch your video? Go study. Do it, do it, do it. You can watch me on replay. Right now, it is 43 minutes in, so get off. And if you want to watch me later after you're done studying, pick up at 43 minutes. I'm going to be your mom right now. College is more important. Epic Space Dorito says, I'm working on a feather shawl and realized 70 rows in that I went wrong on the first <laughs> row. Three days later, I'm back to where I originally was. That is the worst. I feel like when I make something, I'm wasting my crochet energy. I'm like, oh, I messed up on row one. One. I'm sorry, but I'm good job for just muscling on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> David said, ouch, that sucks. It, uh, it does. <gasps> Ooh, I'm 
finishing up the Wicked series by Janet. Oh, have I seen that Wicked? Me and my daughter would read books all the time. I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't. I want to Google it now. Let me pull up a separate page because I swear I read that one. Wicked. Is that the uh, Wizard of Oz series? Series, series. What is that? Wicked. No. <gasps> no, I did. Is is it this one? The one with the purple? If it's that one, me and my daughter read that. That that was such a good book series. My daughter actually read that in like the fourth or fifth grade. She got in trouble because we had like the big set where the book was like this thick, and she was reading in the middle of class, so she got in trouble. My daughter's like the biggest reader. My son is the opposite. He's like allergic to reading food, reading food, reading books. <laughs> Yo, Alicia, looking cute as ever. Well, well thank you. <laughs> okay, so I guess we can hop back into the patterns. I completely lost my web page that I was on. But no, we got a super chat. So you saved me, Toro Eight Star. You saved me from being lost and all over the place. Thank you so much. I'm working on dishcloths for the for a dishcloth swap. I've never been a part of those. I was a part of an awesome like yarn swap that was hosted by uh, Reggie J Hook Crochet, and that was so awesome. Like people would mail a box full of yarn and you get to pick through the box and replace it with other stuff and just mail it to the next person on a list. So it's been like all over the world. But cheers to you. Thank you so much for donating. Let's pull up the wheel of patterns. Come on, yarn, yarn, yarn. You get the cotton flip-flop patterns. That seems to be popping up a lot right here. So make sure you email me. And if anybody got any repeat patterns, just let me know in the email. Oh, no, Wicked Appetite, Wicked Business, and Wicked Charms. Oh, okay. Wrong book. That other book, read that. I'm into those real fantasy, I wouldn't call it Twilight esque, because I'm a grown woman, but I guess those, it was still like one of them junior reader books. But I also love those type of books that are a little bit naughty too. Once again, if you guys don't feel like reading a book, listen to an audiobook down below. You'll get $5 off your very first order. Do, do, do. There we go. So let's hop into some of the very next patterns. Here we go. I'd let's do the last couple. I think we're on the last couple, right? We did this one. Where are we at? Come on, Paige. This is our ninth pattern. This is called the Verano Longtime Cardigan. Geometry saves the day again with just, oh, let me start again. Geometry saves the day again with yet another cute crochet cardigan made from rectangles. This design calls for basic crochet stitches as well as some work done in the front loops only and in the back loops only. You'll love the generous length and a dramatic flair this cardigan adds to any outfit. The designer of this is Mama in Stitch. I love a duster. I want to see how long it goes. I guess you can make it as long as you want. And know what? I like this. I usually don't like to make garments, garment, garments because it takes so long. But with this, look at it. It's mesh stitching. You'll be able to work this pattern up in no time. I think I'm going to put this on my list. Or maybe I need to come up with my own, like, duster pattern. Hmm. All right, so the very last pattern that we're going to look at is called the ver vertical stripe sweater. Everyone knows how slimming vertical stripes are. You can make this easy crochet sweater pattern using just single and double crochet stitches. It is worked flat in two panels and then sewn together. Choose a fun cake of yarn for effortless color changing with no extra ends to weave in. The designer of this is Heart, Hook, and Home. So make sure you check. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Didn't mean to take that down. Make sure you check her out. Her patterns and everything is going to be down in the description box below. Once again, this is one of those patterns that are made in two squares. One for the back, one for the uh, front. Simple. 
Okay, guys, we pretty much made it through all the patterns. So what we do now, we're just going to chit chat back and forth. If you have any questions for me, please let me know. Just put a little question marks in front of it so I can pull your comment up so we can all talk about it. Oh, so let me tell you about what's been going on in my week. Oh, what was it last week? My dear daughter, she's wonderful today. I love her so much because she got her grant. But what she did, she went to the mall. It was about maybe an hour or so away and decided to lock her keys inside. No, she didn't lock her keys in the car. She lost her keys in the mall. So therefore, she calls me on the phone. She's like, Mom, I lost my keys in the mall and I need to get home. I'm like, where are your spare keys, daughter? She's like, I lost my spare keys. I was livid. So I'm like, you want me to drive an hour out to get you and your friend lost at the mall? Because I'm like, you, you go to the security booth and you find your keys someplace. She's like, I tried everywhere and I couldn't find a, the security wasn't in his office. Luckily, my husband was close by in the neighborhood. It's like children, even though she's 19, almost 20, they still are children. She needed somebody to come in and dad for her. My husband, he walked into the mall. He immediately found a security guy. It's like, hey, is there any keys? My husband got her keys immediately. She's like, I've been looking for my keys for an hour. I'm like, Jada, did you talk to anybody? She's like afraid to talk to people. It's like people might bite her or something. But that's what's been going on with me. So what's going on with you? Eviana, I hope I said your name right. Hi, everyone. Eviana, if you can say Donna, you can say Eviana. Oh, thank you. Anyway, I'm working on a crossbody bag for vending events. Congrats to your family. No IUP Punxsutawney. She didn't want to go there. Actually, I went to IUP back in a while ago. I went to IUP, but she didn't want to go there. Um, she wants to study music and they didn't have a music program that she wanted. Of course, she loves it. She's been playing it her whole life. And it's like she eats and breathes music. So therefore, she wanted to go to that school instead. Have you had any luck convincing Mr. Little John to start a cooking a stream? No. But I did. I, I think I'm a little bit closer. This Wednesday, you guys will see Mr. Little John on my YouTube channel. I did a video called... I teach, I changed the title. I tried to teach my husband how to crochet. We had about 40 minutes worth of footage. I tried to cram down into 13 minutes. I'm going to try to shrink it even smaller because it's just a bunch of us, me getting mad or him laughing. Mila. It's going to be a great video. Do, do, do. Here we go. Who else is here? XD Symphony says, I'm not a big fan of cardigans or sweater. Odd for a Canadian. I get warm too easily. I wear t-shirts only. No, it's funny. I, I, I try to look nice on Saturdays, but I don't wear anything fancy at all. You guys probably seen this like sweatshirt so many times. This is like my comfy around the house matching top and bottom sweatsuit. I have no style. When I was young, I used to have style. I don't know what happened. Oh, for a book re recommendation. This is from Najat. I love fantasy. I recommend the Night and Nothing series. It's a type of dark romance remake of the folktale Tamlin. Where's my book? I need a good book to read. I don't know where my pencil is. Oh, there it is. Get another one of my audio books. What is that called? The, it's a type of dark, nice and nothing series. Nights and nothing. Thank you for the recommendation. Shauna. Oh, did I say this? Hey, Eviana, I used, uh, <laughs> hey, Eviana, I used that for my name too, Shauna like Donna. Anyway, I'm working on a sweater and skirt set and an upcycle skirt and shirt set from old jeans and flannel. You're one of those like multi-talented people that can just, 
a craft MacGyver. That's what you are. That can take anything old and used and make it fabulous. I've tried that. I've tried to upcycle t-shirt, make t-shirt yarns. Nothing worked out. I've made shirts from dresses and they were like horrible, but eh. Email me one of your pictures. I would love to see something that you made. That'd be so awesome. Here we go. Oh, my girl, Lori Lurphy. Lori Lurphy. Lori, you've been here before. You know why I'm uh, lisping your name. Late but hair. <laughs> Cheers to you. Oh, we get to spin. You know the routine. we got yarn on this right now. So there's some uh, three skeins of yarn that's on this wheel. Let's see. You get my crochet sunflower hat. Let me pull it up right here. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see what else is going on in the chat. Do, do, do. Toro says, maybe your husband can try the Addy knitting machine instead. Oh, actually, my son uses the Addy knitting machine. He's made himself little hats. He's made scarf. Would you guys be, I don't know if that, I'm always afraid um, somebody might not find some entertaining about my channel. Because, I don't know, there's no type of drama or funny situations that go on in my life. I knew doing a video with my husband would be hilarious because we're always back and forth. I was thinking about doing one with my son, hus not husband, my son, but the way I interact with him is so different than the way I interact with my husband. My husband, I can put down in a second. But my son, I'm just going to be so cute and gentle throughout the whole thing. Maybe it'll be funny with the husband. Thank you. I did not know that. Louise Bletcher is a character from Boggs Burger. So I don't feel like I'm not fancy. <laughs> she wears bunny ears. I know exactly who you're talking about. I'm making a pink bunny hat like her. I thought you were saying some type of name brand something. Like, I don't know what that is. But I feel so much better now. Evie. Oh, wait, Ivana. I'm sorry. Shauna, you understand me. It's Ivana. That's the uniqueness of me. No, I feel your pain. Uh, when people, I've always loved when somebody pronounces my name correctly. My name is Alicia, A L Y S H A. But when people look at it, sometimes get scrambled in their head. They'll call me Alyssa. They'll call me Ashley or Ali. Nobody can pronounce it Alicia, but that's okay. But you guys know it's Alicia, A L Y S H A. I don't mind when it's misspelled, but I don't like when it's mispronounced. Ooh, have you read the Broken Earth Trilogy by... No, I have not. Broken Earth Trilogy. I have been... I used to read nonstop all the time until I became like a full-time crocheter and reading has become like obsolete. I even have trouble like watching my favorite like TV shows on Netflix because I don't know what they look like. I'm just listening to everything. I'm not trying to actually plug this again, but that's why I love audiobooks. I used to read so much. Me and my daughter used to be such big readers. It was all before like all the bookstores closed. I just love read through the books and just the smell of the pages. I miss doing it, but now I'm going to listen to my audiobooks while I crochet. Maria, have I ever accidentally called you Marie? I feel bad if I had. I feel you. I can't stand when folks call me Marie. It's not that hard to spit out the third syllable, right? Maria, Maria, Alicia. Actually, a lot of people always short my name to Leash. Hey, Leash. I'm like, my mother would be so mad. Wait, yes, the dark, yes, that's them, them dirty, dirty, dirty books. Yes, the dark series by Christine Feehan is good, raunchy though. I've read 
uh, at least like four of them. It was years ago. Me and my previous co-workers, we would uh, swap books. And after we would all read the books, we would have lunch and we would talk about the books together. I loved them. They would have like series with the vampires would fall in love. And it was like Twilight mixed with Fifty Shades of Grey. A little raunchy. If it's not your style, don't read it. But I love the book. <laughs> Bergy says, I recently completed a Triceratops Amigurumi. I do Amigurumi all the time, but this one was by a French YouTuber who doesn't speak English. I just had to watch her and figure it out. So I've done that. I fell in love with like a, an intricate flower. I just want it for like a piece of a hat and it was in a completely different language. And I'm like, oh, I love this so much. You know, being American, we only, uh, we only know like one language. The rest of the world is uh, bilingual or multilingual. We only know one, so we're always just stuck. So I'm staring at this video trying to make this flower, but I understand your pain. Michelle says, For the Frills YouTube channel has so many gorgeous channels. I loved it. She had two panel, uh, patterns on this list. I absolutely love her. There we go. Okay, I think we've been chatting for long enough today. Let me uh, close this out. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on my uh, YouTube channel. And make sure you come next week. We're going to do it again. And I think we're just going to just keep giving away some yarn. Why not? So, guys, I'll see you all next week. And make sure you tune in um, Wednesday to see my husband crochet. Bye, guys.